Ah, Thingiverse, you got a gantcher and library of STL goodness. Everything you could possibly want is on this wonderful website. A curated, wonderful cornucopia of beautiful 3D printable things in a huge universe. Yeah, it's called Thingiverse. But where do these things come from? Can you create things for it? And how do you go ahead and put your things onto this Thingiverse? Well, I thought today we're going to concentrate on a formative part of any 3D printer or maker's education. And that is creating something and sticking it on Thingiverse for the first time. And let's face it, who hasn't put their things on the internet for other people to gawk at? So here is a fairly loose guide on how to create a thing and stick it onto Thingiverse and get your first steps into being a maker and designer and letting other people use your wonderful, well thought out and beautifully designed products or models. Before you do though, please feel free to like and subscribe. It really helps the channel and it helps me keep creating this wonderful, wonderful, shiny content for you lovely people without having to charge you for it. So, click like, click subscribe and join the 3D printed mind palace which is 3D printed soup. Don't go into the West Wing. That's where the beasts from the id live. But moving on, how do we start? We start like this. As this is sort of a basic look at this, I have started off by using the most basic of all editors, Tinkercad. And I've created a small file here, which is an arcade dust cover for Mortal Kombat. It just goes over the arcade stick and lets it cover the joint where it goes into the board and socket joint and stops dust going in. Very very simple file, it was very very easy to create. Uh, all I did was do a circle on the uh, maker plate here using the basic shapes off to the right and then just dragged in a uh, picture of the Mortal Kombat dragon and just raised it up a little bit so you got a nice raised dragon on a circular surface. Very easy to use, you just drag and drop it and you can change the thickness, you can change the height and you've created a very basic 3D shape with a 3D pattern on it but yeah it serves the purpose quite nicely. Once you've done that you save it and you've got yourself a nice 3D file which then can be uploaded to a site of your choice. I have chosen to upload it to Thingiverse and you can do this with any STL file or the file which basically can be printed on a 3D printer or an engraver. Next we want to slice it. So we drag and drop it into your slicer. In this case I'm using Ultimaker Cura. Ah yeah, just going to test it to make sure it prints out well. I've dropped it in there, there's been no errors reported so there's no holes or issues with it. Give it a quick slice and there it's going to take about 15 minutes to print. Now we'll just give it a quick look just to see how it would print. So we just click virtual print down here. And it just shows us how it will go about printing. So there's the first layer. And yeah, it just does the edges, does the layers. And just says, yep, this will absolutely print fine. See, it's doing all the details there. And then what it will do, there we go. It will fill in the details as well. And yeah, this looks absolutely great. There should be no issues with getting this to print uh, on, in this case, my Anchor Make, but you can use any 3D printer you want as long as it reads STL files. And that's sliced it into G-code, which is what your 3D printer prints. Now that you know your file is watertight and well designed and prints perfectly, it's time to get it uploaded. But where do you upload it to? Well, a good start is Thingiverse, the 
possibly largest repository of STL 3D printable files. So the first thing you need to do is to create a login, which you can all do yourselves. You've created logins loads of times on different websites. I mean, you're on YouTube here, so you know how to create a login. Once that's done, it's time to upload a file. On Thingiverse, this is called Create a New Thing. So click Create a New Thing, go to where you have stored your lovely created file, give it a click, and it will upload it. Next, take a picture of the model you have created, and then click on Upload an Image. You can then put an image of your file onto Thingiverse as well, so people can see what they're printing. I mean, it's lovely to see the 3D model itself, but given the idea of what it's going to look like in real life, much like when you're selling a house, pictures paint a thousand words. Next, we need to name the thing. So just type in what you'd like to call it, call it exactly what it is, and be as descriptive as possible, as it will help people find it. Then, we need to choose a category. Now there's lots of categories on here. There's games, there's statuettes. Just choose the one which best suits your thing and you think people will search for that kind of thing under. Next, you need to choose a type of license. This basically is quite complicated and each one of them gives different rights. Um, read through, choose the ones you think best suits you. I am going to go for non-commercial so people can't sell it on, but people can still print it. You choose which best suits you. Then you need to tag it. Much like tagging in uh, YouTube, I'm doing Mortal Kombat, I'm doing Arcade, I'm doing anything also 3D printed. I'm doing anything I can think of which I think people might search for, which will take them to my 3D printed file. But make sure you put in ones that actually uh, match your file. Yes, it's very tempting to put cuddly kittens and awesome, cool this and that just so people basically click on it like clickbait, but they're not going to probably like it and they're not going to probably download and print it if it takes them to the wrong place. Now, thing information. This is a little bit more complicated. First thing we're going to do is choose our brand of printer. In my case, Creality Ender 3 SE. Uh, this is what I printed this particular one on. And then just put in how you printed it. The temperature you used, the infill in my case 50%, what kind of filament you used, what colour was it, and what material. All these things will help people out later. And also put some details in the miscellaneous notes if you've done anything interesting like you need supports, or a raft, or any kind of bed adhesion. And with that done, it's time to publish the thing. And after a few seconds, what will happen is, it will upload it and your thing will be ready to look at. In this case, look at that. An arcade one-up dust cover for your arcade one-up arcade machine. Doesn't it look beautiful? And there's all the details we put in and underneath there's things that basically might go along with it. They're usually wrong. And you're now part of the Thingiverse community. You can watch how many people have looked at your print. You can check how many people have downloaded it. People can leave comments and people can leave pictures of prints they've made from your files. They can even remix your files if you have given them the rights to when basically you chose the license. And yeah, it's exciting and it's great. I love the fact that you can basically share all your designs with the rest of the world. And yeah, here it is online. Uh, you can see the pictures I took of it there, the picture of the file itself. And you can see when people have posted a make of it, when they've remixed it, and all the things I can do with it. In that case, let's have a quick look at the make which has been posted here. There we go. And yep, it has a, a make posted on it. So somebody has made it and uh, they've uploaded a picture of it on their arcade Mortal Kombat 2 machine. And doesn't it look absolutely lovely? So yeah, that is uploading your file into Thingiverse. And once it's up there, people can browse it, they can find it when they search, and you can get people uh, leaving you comments and tips and tricks, and they can even send you a donation if that's your thing. And they can also remix it so they can download it themselves, stick it onto a piece of CAD software, and they can download it and 3D print it. And you can even view it in 3D on the site like I'm doing here. 
I hope you've enjoyed this quick look into getting your files up on Thingiverse and onto other 3D sites. It's really simple and good fun, and it's a great way to give back to the community and to get your designs seen and shown. Thanks so much for watching 3D Printed Soup. As always, stay happy and safe. Keep Thingiversing.